what's going on guys thanks for tuning in for another video really appreciate it thank you for coming by this is the let's work channel me and you make the let's and the video that's the work so let's work together you know what i'm saying thank you for coming by today we got another video is on MGTOW moments MGTOW moments if you don't know who he is go to the channel subscribe support his content really good content compilation videos on tiktok this one is number 41 41 so let's get into it She got those chocolatey cheeks. Me remembering when I was eight years old and lied about an old man touching me in the park so he could get arrested all because I was an attention seeker. Wow, really? Wow. See, more and more stories are coming out like this, and it's kind of like diffusing the Me Too movement. Now, it's at a point now where, you know, if you say that that movement, people get tired of it. Like, oh, because yeah, it's stuff like this. You know what I'm saying? Girls coming out and saying stuff like this. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? You should be ashamed of yourself. For real. Okay, she already deleted her account, but maybe we shouldn't post things like this. It's a funny, like, like it's a funny childhood story. It's a funny childhood story. And the fact that there are people defending her. Girls be like, I want a 6'6 six, six dude packing good with kids. Bro, what you got? 4'11. You failed your driver test five times. It's time to You failed your driver test five times. That's hilarious if he knows that information. Your stomach and your leggings. Oh, man. Your stomach and your leggings, bro. When I read it the first time, it didn't register until like a second later. And then I got the visual. Oh, man. Damn, damn, damn. secretly fucking the sexiest security guard at my work for the past seven months it's been super hot because we act completely normal around each other at work and an hour later on lunch his hands are around my throat oh yeah and i'm married oh the, the married stuff comes in dude who who in the right mind will use their lunch break to have sex I don't know about y'all, but man, if I'm doing lunch, my lunch break, I'm eating lunch, man. I'm hungry, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to think, you know what I mean? Imagine you just have sex and all of, and all of that, and then your lunch break is over. What are you going to eat? And mind you, after you have sex, you need a sandwich or two, so you're going to be double, the t double as hungry. You know what I'm saying? Speaking on the married stuff, man, married, married women are the easiest. You know what I'm saying? Low hanging fruit. Do not mess with married married people. You know what I'm saying? I think I saw this quote um one time. It was like, if you're gonna mess with a married woman, make sure you could take uh, make sure you could take on her husband. Make sure you could fight her husband. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's probably gonna come to that. You know, it's a dangerous thing to 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 dance with, you know what I'm saying? people in a talking stage people married like because you just never know you have no clue at all what the fuck is going on 
For real though, like her man just thinks she's going to work every day. Meanwhile, she's getting dogged the fuck out in the bathroom on her lunch break, bro. I'm a toxic man who has a soft spot for me. Her boyfriend killed himself because his girlfriend wanted to FT him FT while getting piped by another man. Like what else yeah woman got for us just showing us we can't trust you at this point, SMH. There's been a lot of uh stories like this. I just saw another one on World Star, some dude killed himself. Because she cheated, man. Dudes need to get that abundant mindset. There's a lot of girls on earth. You know what I'm saying? Got to get that abundant mindset. And you got to realize a higher purpose for yourself. You get what I'm saying? You can't make your girl your life. You get what I'm saying? It'll be a total disaster. Rest in peace. You know what I'm saying? It's crazy. She wants you to cook, clean, play, pay the bills, save her life, shoot somebody in the effing face if they look at her wrong and have a 10 inch D D I C K. What she brings to the table, P U S S Y. Burn in hell, biatch. <laughs> If you're a guy, don't do this. Don't do this. I don't know. Don't do this. Stop dancing on TikTok. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) 
Is it okay if I wear these shorts? Yeah, I don't care. You don't? Nah, I don't. I can fight. I know I'm gonna get heat for this, but no one agrees on this app anyway, so shit on me all you wanna, okay? And I'd just like to make it clear that I've never gotten mad at any of my past girlfriends for wearing anything out, so don't come at me. What I don't understand is why girls want their boyfriends to have to fight people so that they can wear clothes like that. Like, if some dude's just staring at your titties because they're hanging out of your shirt, or some guy's just looking at your ass because it's hanging out of your pants, why is that my problem? You chose to wear it, so you deal with it. Slap him in the face. Tell him not to look at you. Tell him not to talk to you. You do something. I know people are going to come at me saying, oh, you probably don't know how to fight. I don't know if I can fight because I've never been in one, so I couldn't tell you if I knew how to fight. I've been on this planet for 17 years, and all I know is I'm not going to fight other dudes so that my girlfriend can look good for other dudes. Doesn't make sense. That's real. 17, man. I love, dude. People are getting red pilled, man. 17. 17. I remember when Dave Chappelle, when he was like 19. Na, 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 19. You know what I'm saying? People are getting red pilled. And yes, that's a test. When a girl does that, that's a test. She's trying to test you to see if you're this guy that she thinks you are. You know what I'm saying? If you're the, the masculine guy, she's going to run tests by you. And I think I just should have said something on the other clip, but it was similar to the other clip, man. If the if you if your girl is gaining weight, if you're in a relationship with your girl and she's gaining weight, that's probably a reason she's comfortable. You know what I'm saying? You know, you should never your spouse should never get too comfortable where they relax and stuff. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're working hard. You get what I'm saying? Never. So she, for some reason, she's comfortable in that relationship. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know how you feeding her um, information, but there's something about you being comfortable with her, and y'all just automatically gonna be comfortable. Trust me, if she feels like she can't get a man, or she feels like she's gonna lose you, she's gonna sign up for Blink Fitness. Trust me. Men don't wear dresses. Kids should not be on hormone blockers. Men don't belong in women's sports. What about trans? Uh, Prince Harry is in an emotionally abusive relationship. Hey, I don't know about the Prince Harry situation, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't guess. I wouldn't guess not. Stop letting females with no dad tell you what a real man is. Difference between a woman and a girl. Hey baby, I will be busy from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. I love you. I feel like we falling off. Is there something wrong? If so, let me know. You was acting up, so I thought you didn't love me no more. So I cheated and sorry. Can we please talk this out? I didn't last this long with you to up so easily. We should take a break. I need to focus on myself. Baby, you know you can talk to me about everything in here for you. Don't get over it. Stop being sad all the time acting like a girl. Why can't you be like him? You are more than enough to me, baby. So why do you want to... This, that, that girl doesn't exist, that little queen girl. She don't exist. I don't... I don't, I don't yeah, yeah. Girlfriend's dad. So why do you want to marry my daughter? To be honest, sir, she's a fat ass. That's the same reason I married her mother. You have my permission. I keep seeing X on this app, so I thought I hit them with one of the boys. With well, one from the boys. Real red flags? Dude, I love the dancing and they, they the quotes, you know what I'm saying? Top five red flags for girls at the parties. And then they'd be like. Uh, high value men. Have you ever dated a man that made more money than you? Yes. Could you treat him this way? No. Exactly. And you're old enough to know that. You're a grown damn woman who picked a man who was making less than you because you're controlling. And they put you in a power position. 
therapy man. You cannot do this with a man who has stuff to do. I just let you homie smash. Girls don't talk like that. But if she did, I don't know. Girls don't talk like that. I'll be damned if a, a girl hit me up like this. She feels comfortable with you. Don't be a friend, man. That's not alpha. Don't respond at all. These girls love saying, oh, wrong bitch. Whenever you bring up something that they don't remember, well, guess what? You're right. Maybe I was talking about something else. Oh. Are you crying? You play stupid games. Imagine being homophobic and ugly. Like, pick a struggle. Come on, pick a struggle. While you're at it, how about you pick up some bitches, alright? You're bitchless. I'm not <laughs> I can't I can't even take that girl seriously. That's hilarious. She's like so the sweet and like you know, like a sweet little white girl. When you got some freaks inside, but your homie pulls up with his girl. Bro, she leaves you on red. Stop checking your phone. Someone else is making her happier. What is that? That they they spraying on it? Is that permanent? I don't know whether that's paint or soap. I don't know. Does anyone else see the trends of girls baiting out their body counts and think how good it would be to send to their parents to show what they've raised? All right, that's it. Uh, shout out to MGTOW Moments. Really appreciate you, brother. Love the content. Uh, go subscribe to his channel, you know what I'm saying? And go support him. And, you know, it was great. Great vid. Great stuff. You know, I I find it amusing to, to I like to react off the girls and the stuff like that. It's fun. Um, but to be honest, man, it's all good. I mean, I'm not salty. A lot of a lot of people think um, MGTOWs are salty or anything like that, man. They're, we we not. Trust me. Um, we we living good. We living good, man. Uh, my life hasn't been better than what it what it is right now. Life has life is good right now. So I'm really grateful for you guys coming by. Comment, like, subscribe, support the channel, and I'll see you guys soon. One 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 out. Peace.